Welcome to Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for this Friday, July 27th, 2012. We begin with an update from the world of material science. A group in Germany have created the world's lightest material, a highly porous carbon structure dubbed aerographite. It's 75 times lighter than styrofoam, essentially a loose network of carbon nanotubes, the material is mostly air. Now terms like heavy and light aren't very scientific. Aerographite is the least dense solid material ever produced, a mass of only 0.2 milligrams per cubic centimeter. Despite this, the material is extremely resilient, able to be compressed up to 95% as well as stretched. As with many carbon materials, it also has excellent electrical conductivity and strength, and these properties are unaffected by the extreme physical stress it can withstand. This amazing material is formed when a zinc oxide nanostructure is exposed to hot vapor rich in carbon and hydrogen. The carbon is deposited onto a template only a few atoms thick, and the hydrogen reacts with the zinc oxide dissolving it away, leaving only the porous carbon network, the properties of which can be adjusted by manipulating factors during materials production. Obviously, this material was just recently developed, but the people behind it and other groups already have a number of ideas on how it could be used. For example, aerographite could be incorporated into lithium batteries, reducing their size and making them easier to implement as power storage. Next is a story from the world of physics. Scientists at the University of Chicago analyzed a fluid created by a 1-2 to two mixture of water and cornstarch called oobleck. Oobleck is liquid at rest, but becomes a solid in specific situations, and this violates Newtonian dynamics, under which a substance cannot possess two physical states at the same time. For example, it cannot act as both a solid and as a liquid. However, several substances called non-Newtonian fluids do act this way. An object hitting oobleck or other non-Newtonian liquids would be temporarily supported on the surface of the liquid. If an object hits hard enough, the oobleck becomes temporarily solid, supporting the weight of the object, after which the object sinks or floats as a wooden liquid. This particular phenomenon, which is sometimes presented even to grade schoolers, is in fact not well understood by physicists. Until now, hypotheses suggest that the phenomenon might have something to do with the transfer of energy to the container of the liquid. Using an X-ray gun, the researchers let a metal cylinder fall and bounce onto the oobleck, and they noticed that a cone-shaped area of the liquid was jammed so close together it momentarily became as dense as a solid. There is still a lot left to understand, such as what exactly happens to these particles when they're jammed together. Some of you may think oobleck is interesting or fun to look at, but isn't that important. But non-Newtonian liquids in general have a number of interesting applications. One example being a bulletproof vest that hardens on impact but remains flexible the remaining time. The study will continue, as an important step toward refining technologies based on non-Newtonian fluids is, of course, understanding the mechanisms behind their unique properties. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description.